Hey everybody, it's Cindy A. Lewis and I have a cute Dollar Tree DIY fall wall decor farmhouse themed decoration for you to make today using these cute little Easter bunnies and removing those feet. You are going to need two of them. You remove all the little pieces and we're going to spray paint them. I'm going to spray paint them white. You can get these uh, little scarecrows that are about the same size. So you would just remove that welcome. Then give it a good couple coats of spray paint on both sides. Pick you up one of these <clears throat> hanging signs that are in the summer decor they're getting rid of now. If you don't, you can use something else for your uh, stability, but that's what I'm using this for. And I went ahead and spray, spray painted mine together. So you have two pieces. I spray painted both sides. You won't see the back if you don't mind that, or you can give it a whole nother coat of paint. Now, since you have two, you're going to have to glue it together. I used wood glue. Then, you, then you're going to want these... Uh, metal pieces from the Dollar Tree for your sign. I used all three and I spray painted them chalkboard black. I used uh, wood glue to glue the panels together. I put it all along that edge and then I put a clamp to hold it. You can see you can buy these at the Dollar Tree, these two little clamps to hold it until it dried or set up. You can put a little bit of uh, hot glue, but that won't say, stay forever. So <clears throat> let that dry. It'll set in a couple hours, but it really won't be strong until it's been set for 24 hours. But you can, again, put a little bit of the hot glue to help it stay together if you're having problems with that. It's going to make a really cute wall sign four falls oh look how cute that is <clears throat> now you can see you could paint that again if you want some more coverage now take your three pieces and you're going to put wood glue on those and adhere them uh, to on the ends about a couple inches in and then one in the middle with the wood glue so I put wood glue on those and I put a little bit of hot glue, just a little bit to help it till it's set. But you can nail those if you want to, if you have little tack nails, just so they don't go through to the other side. So it worked really well for me, just the wood glue. So set those up, let them set, make sure they're uh, pressed on really well, and then we'll work on the other side. Now the other side is really white from the spray paint. And you can see the back is held together and stabilized by those three pieces. So I want my boards, my panels to have a grayish tone um, like some of the wood panels do in the farmhouse country uh, themes. And so I'm gonna do a wash on my panels with this gray paint. So I've got some acrylic gray paint and I put a little bit of water in a bowl and mixed my paint with it so that it will be like a wash and not the heavy paint because I do want the white to show through. So I just stir it up and I'm going to use my uh, rag to spread it. If you have a sponge, you can do that. So you can do this wash on your panels until you're satisfied with the color. Now we do want them to look like wood. So what I'm doing is I'm going to wash over the panels several times and then I'm going to show you how I make it look like wood. If you're not getting enough color, you can add more, but make sure that you mix it with the water so that it provides that wash look and not like a deep, deep uh, painted look. Next, you'll want a paintbrush and we're going to dry brush some of the gray onto the boards to make it look like wooden panels. So I just put a little bit, I didn't even push it out on a plate, I just put a little bit on my brush and then I wipe it on a paper towel or some kind of rag until I get a lot of the paint off because you can always add more 
but I don't want it to look like I painted it, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna rub that along the edges and in the centers and on the um, sides of the panels to make it look like a board. So you can see what I'm doing here and I'm just going to keep doing that until I like how it looks. Once you're satisfied with your panels and how your wash is and your panel would look, then you just need to let it dry. After you let it dry, then you'll take your words, whichever words you wanna use, you don't even have to make it fall decoration, but I'm gonna use the fall metal words. I really like how it turned out, it's just so cute. Now, one thing I decided to do before I adhere my words on is I took some twine and I actually wrapped it around the edge of the side of the panel and I'm gonna do that on this other side. And I just wrap it around with regular twine five times around the side. Now on the back side, tie your ends together. So I kind of left them in the middle. Tie your ends together, cut it after you've gone around five times, double knot that, trim your little knot, and put a little dab of glue to hold it in place. This is on the back side. So you see I'm tying a little knot there, and then I'm going to trim those tails off so that they don't hang on. Sorry, reaching across the screen here to get my glue gun, but I wanted to show you. And just put a little dot of glue to hold that, press that twine in there. Now, we're going to flip it over, and on the front side, I made two little ties to be little knots in the middle of each of the panels, so on the top and on the bottom. Now you can use the leftover from the hangers that you had, or you can just use a little piece of twine. So here I'm just double knotting that, and I'm going to put a little dot of glue. I do trim those uh, tails off. You can do that, or if you don't want to and you like that longer hanging, that's fine too, it's whatever you like but I just trimmed mine and then I put a dab of glue to hold it. Now I did it on both sides, so I have four little ties in the center of my panels to just give another a little effect to the twine that I wrapped around the panels. I really love how it turned out. It's so very cute. Now you can see I'm gonna show you here. I just put the dab of glue and that will hold it in place. You do not need to glue the whole twine. That's not necessary. Now we're seeing it all come together. So we've got both sides with twine and it looks adorable. So I'm gonna scoot the camera back a little bit and show you here. Now you have to decide where you want your words. But before we put the words on, let me caution you, However you want to hang this on the wall, you need to take care of that before you put the words on. So I'm gonna use some of this nautical rope that is from the Dollar Tree. So you can see everything but the paint came from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna take a little piece and I'm going to staple it on the back with my staple gun. Now, it's time to put the words on. You have to decide how do you want them to look and I decided to glue my words on like this. It turned out adorable. I love it. It's hanging in my house right now. It is so very cute. I hope you will do this, and I hope I've inspired you in some way to create. Thanks for watching. <music>